Hello everyone, Don and Don here with the uh, next update on my War Corsair. Uh, <coughs> yesterday was uh, Eclipse Day and we got uh, lucky enough that it started out first thing in the morning, got up, it was raining, uh, drizzling, completely overcast. Then the uh, about an hour, hour and a half before the event started where, the, where they touch, uh, it started clearing up and uh, the skies cleared up so like the first 45 minutes it stayed clear and we were able to see the first you know three quarters of it and then at uh, just before the total eclipse the clouds came rolling in but they were broken uh, thin and dark but we was able to actually get to see the whole thing there was a few times there when it went total eclipse we was able to see that through some light clouds but we were able to see it you could take your glasses off and we could see it just fine so and then after that um, Put the cover back on my camera lens. I was taking some video with its uh, what do you call it? time lapse, but the uh, uh, it, it turned out not bad. But uh, I want to see if I can piece something together and put it up too. But but we got to see the whole thing, so it was really impressive. Never seen one before in my life. So yesterday it was it wasn't only it was like in the 60s I think, and then when the eclipse hit it, uh, the temperature dropped a good 10 15 degrees on us. I had to get my sweatshirt and put it back on. But anyway, the eclipse came and gone. Got some video. Uh, everything worked out good. So now I was down here Saturday working on this. Um, because I did the tail wheel circuitry, I wanted to do the main circuitry. And after redrawing everything up, uh, I didn't wasn't going to need to pull any wires out of the landing gear. I needed six wires to go to this side, six wires to go to that side. And uh, I had six wires in there. Well, the problem was is there's four of them that crisscrossed because they were jumpers, you know, everything was wired in parallel. Because when this hydraulic system works, one wheel can get up before the other and um, hit, a, limit, hit a limit switch. But you don't want it to stop running the pump until the other one's up, so you wire them in parallel. So I was down here Saturday for, oh my God, six, seven hours uh, cutting and hacking and trying to track down these wires, pulling out what left hair I have left. Um, so I, I got a lot of tore apart and a few things figured out. And then I uh, didn't come down yesterday because of the eclipse. And then today I've been down here since noon. It's now 7 o'clock. So I just finished up. I got all the switches wired. I got the, the third switch in there, but it still needs bolted in place. Uh, same with the left side, all the wiring all the way up to the LEDs is done. Uh, the wires all come up through here. There's a total of nine wires, nine wires just to the lights because each LED, of course, takes three uh, red, green, blue. So it takes three wires for each. So there's nine wires to this, ten counting the power. The power uh, comes back here to this little guy. And uh, the, no ground out, just these three wires you can see are the power to each LED. So they're all uh, shrink wrapped, heat shrinked, uh, and then tie, tie wrapped to here. So all I gotta do now is drill the panel out. Um, I was gonna do it today, but I'm just pooped. <laughs> I've been down here so long. Crawling in and out of this plane is just horrendous. Uh, it's a tight fit back in there. I don't know if I can see the holes for it. Uh, yeah, they are just above the, I think it's the amp. Either a little pressure, voltmeter, amp meter, one of the two. So, so what I did is I temporarily hooked it up here to, uh, I got a power terminal here and a negative terminal sticking out the back here for all these wires for the instruments. A lot of these instruments are electronic, so they all require powers and grounds, a lot of them. So I got a, a bus jump to here. So I got these just jumped with some jumpers, short things here, so we can see if they work. Uh, inside, I got the rat's nest to tie back up again. No, those are gonna have to go behind the throttle linkage. Great, but it was a it was a treat getting in there today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. If all goes well, we should see three greens. I had to pull these wires all loose to fish out those wires. I taped up the ones I didn't need to cut because of four of those wires had to be cut. And two of them had to be wired into one each relay, one for up, one for down for the gear relay. The rest of them just had to be cut. The three had to be cut, so three wires for the left gear, three wires for the right 
gear. So they all come up under there. So this will all get tied up again and tidied up. Get it back gear. And then one last thing I did had to I took out the solenoids for the um, hydraulics that are behind the seat because they were all wired in differently too and they weren't going to work uh, with this uh, being able to trigger these LEDs. So I pulled them out but all I have to do to that is run one side of the coil to the power lead that comes off the relay for one side of the motor and then the other side of the the other relay power lead coming off so they're both at ground when it's sitting like this so the, I'll run one lead to each power lead, one solenoid wire to one side of the motor, the other solenoid to the other side of the motor. So when the motor kicks on, the solenoid will get energized. And then the, then the other two wires off the solenoid will come in here and ground. So they're pretty simple. All right, let me get this turned on for you. Okay, this power's on. And what do we see here? Lo and behold, these babies are bright. But in essence, there's three greens. Tell me all three gear are down. And this is a, it's probably in voltage limiting. I can, may have to adjust the current on it, but it's working. Get back here. So, like I say, that'll be looking at it. Uh, you got the left, right tail. So, I don't know how, I mean, it looks pretty flared on this camera, but there's three of them, believe me. So, what a chore. Today was a beautiful day. Mostly clear all day. Uh, where's my... Uh. Alright, sorry about that. I think the LEDs had uh, played to hell with the uh, autofocus on this, but today's been a beautiful day. We've got, uh, it's just now clay clouding up. It's supposed to be decent, but they were only calling for like 76 today and listening to the radio all day down here. They were approaching the uh, record high for the city and they said it was 79 was the record and they were at 78. And then I think they said here just recently that it uh, tied the record. So 78, 79 degrees down here today, but it was, uh, it was windy. The windsock is still, still swinging around. It's kind of out of the southwest today. But that's probably about the lightest it's been all day. Uh, there was uh, several planes in and out. I saw one Piper come in here. I don't know if he was he was doing touch and goes. He came in and I just heard him rev up to take off again. That plane just wobbled and kicked and turned and was like, holy crap. And then he went around, did a couple more and was fine, but must have been doing some training. Uh, these are the solenoids here. They go on to the, these are just the coils. So they slip down on there and the nut locks them on. So I just got to hook one wire to ground and the other wire just hooks up to the pump motor, hydraulic pumps. All right, so that's basically all I wanted to get in here today. Got, got done what I wanted, almost wanted. I wanted to get everything mounted, get it in the panel too, but I've had enough. My back's killing me. Crawl is crawling around. And get this out of here, turn the light off, take those cables out. But, uh, so, sorry about the running around, folks. I just want to get out of here. I throw the tank back, set it back in there, close the canopy up, and call it a day. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess I make some comments about people's comments, but I ain't going to give them the time of day. So, all right, I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and be back next weekend. I gotta work the next three days, so I won't be able to come down here. I'll be back Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or all four, who knows, to uh, finish this up, get the tank back on, uh, get some fuel back in it, get her fired back up. Like I said, I may want to pull the cowling and go through everything again, start off the new year, make sure there's no bird nest in there anywhere. So, all right, folks, as always, feel free to make comments, questions, or concerns. Um, appreciate everyone taking time to watch these videos and uh, appreciate all the uh, comments and uh, questions so uh, don't be afraid to ask uh, if you start giving me crap I'm, I'm just going to delete your messages and if you give me more crap I'm just going to ban your ass so <laughs> so that's it folks all right I will cut this off get this loaded up tonight so you guys get something to see so you know what I've been doing uh, it, this past week it's been raining all week except for the last two days today and yesterday raining snowing 
they had frost down here yesterday morning, so it's been cold, rainy, miserable. All right, folks, I get get this home, get this thing done and loaded, and I get me some dinner, actually lunch, and I'll see you guys again next weekend. All right, so for now, this is Dinner Done Out.